Yo, Bron, why'd you sacrifice Kobe? Hey, look, the NBA is done with LeBron, okay? And I got a couple theories. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. I got a couple theories that's going to make you think because they are no longer supporting this man. Here comes Gobert. Runs over. No call. Connolly. Lakers Davis up ahead. LeBron in chase mode. LeBron on its way. Got it. He's got it. They're going to review it to see if he was behind the line. Whoa! A two yeah, they're calling it a long deuce. That's what they're doing, calling it a long deuce. Oh, LeBron. Austin was very this close. This will be a Here good we go. angle. Here we go. He's behind the line. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. When he no. turns his foot, turn his, his, toe. Turn his, his toe. toe hit the line. Yeah, that might be a good call. As he was going sideways, he was okay. Yeah. But when he turned to square that shoulder up a bit, yeah. smart the basketball. on the floor stands, two-point field goal. Oh, there it is. Now, I'm going to show you in this video a couple of the theories that I got. And I want you to make the decision. But these are the things that I've been paying attention to. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, okay, well, who is due? I'm Kevin Anytime, Mindset Specialist, Director of Mindset Matters Institute. On this channel, we talk about all things that involve your mindset. Because what your mind is set on will dictate your future. What I'm going to tell you right now is I'm going to tell you why the NBA is done with LeBron. Okay, because this is serious, man. They, as a business, no longer want to do business with this dude no more. The NBA is a corporation at the end of the day, and LeBron is an employee of that corporation at the end of the day. Okay, so listen, man. LeBron is not a good look. We done with LeBron, dude. Look at this, man. Watch this. Check this out, man. Look at that. Look, look. Oh, oh okay. He got five. What is he doing? This man, big trash, man. Come on, man. What? Look, everybody confused. Look, he, what? That hurt? You gotta be kidding me. Not in Gotham. That's part of the problem, okay? He doesn't make the game attractive. That's part of the problem. Nobody's standing in line for LeBron James shoes. Nah, I bought those at the Flemington outlets and I rolled my ankle every time I played on them. Not in Gotham. And now the theories that I got that's going to help to support this is going to make you think. They got Luka scoring 70. They got Embiid scoring 70. Like that week or in the span of two weeks or something like that. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, obviously the NBA is improving. Players are getting better, blah, blah, blah. Right. But listen, that was a message. That was a signal to say this. We don't care about points no more. Anybody can score given the amount of opportunities that you give them. Okay. And that's not to d discount LeBron's 40,000 points. Now, if you want to check out that previous video, why I said it doesn't mean anything, all of this is going to correlate. I'm going to actually come out with another video after this one that's going to bring everything all together and it's going to help to show LeBron, hopefully if he see this, how he can actually become the greatest player of all time. But for this specifically, again, let's look at what just happened, okay? Just recently, a few months ago, players score 70 points. The points that they got didn't get the reaction they were looking for. So when LeBron got 40,000 points, and there wasn't a trophy or a special ceremony for him. That was the first indicator where I was like, wait, something's not right here. Now, they gave Mike a trophy for getting 30K. Okay. Now, why did that happen? Because he was making the game look great. That's like them rewarding their employee with a bonus because he's doing numbers. They probably in the locker room gave LeBron a pizza party. Not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> That's probably the best thing he got, okay? 
straight corporate. Michael Jordan got a whole trophy for hitting a certain amount of points because of the ROI he was bringing back to the NBA. Ever since I started building businesses, I started looking at everything differently. That's how I'm able to see this. Plus, I worked for corporate America for over 20 years. So I have been studying and analyzing them. Okay, this is how they operate. And it's a little different when you get into the entertainment of it because they're not just going to outright say, hey, we're done with LeBron, guys, or force him to retire, nothing like that. They're going to show you why he's on his way out without having to actually say it. When he scored 40,000 and there wasn't no ceremony or nothing like that, I was like, I think they done with dude. I think it's a wrap. The second thing, which has been the most major, is he got set up. This man got set up, okay? This most recent escapade with the owner of the Lakers and whoever she was with, her friend or whatever, that was a setup. Now, this is just theory, again, but I bet you, I bet you that that was planned for LeBron to go to that game with them. They were, now they could be touchy-feely people, but they were more coerced to be courtside to hang on him knowing there are cameras everywhere. There's a couple of things that's wrong with this. One is LeBron losing his, his focus. He's not losing his focus like, oh, he was going to be with them or nothing like that. But he's losing his presentation focus because he's ready to get out. That's a whole nother thing. And I'm going to get to that in a second. But he sat down in between them. And let's look at this man. Okay, look at this man. He was dressed for success. All right. This man was draped up, dripped out. Okay, he had glasses on, he had chains on, he was ready to go. Fast forward, where he comes with Savannah. Now, black community, y'all can agree with me. This didn't look like it was a happy family event. All right, when she got the covert operations hat on, okay, looked like the wig a little disheveled under the cap. All right, and that's that's no shade to her. I'm just saying she came like J Lo enough. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a wrap. We finna put it into this right now. And the way LeBron face look, <laughs> the way LeBron face look, just say it all. Okay, I made a mistake. I slipped up. Right, I'm in a public setting. But I'm telling you, I think it was set up because they're trying to usher him out of this game he's trying to stay in the game long enough to play with his son and that brings me to the very last point now you gotta understand you working for a corporation i get it you got your own business you got your own name you got your own brand but at the end of the day you're still playing ball you are still an owned employee of that corporation they not here to babysit people until they till they get out. This is this is very transactional. Okay, there's millions of kids that want to be in the NBA. I get it. He's a great figure for the NBA, but he not bringing in the ROI that he once was, and that's just a fact. Okay, you can just look at it. You don't have to crunch numbers. You can just look at how things go so that's the that's the culmination of why it's it's about to be a wrap so my best advice to you bro Brian, listen my best advice to you okay is you gonna have to be jason born on point going forward okay with who you wit with how you plan and everything because you only got a couple years left and they're going to try to get you out of there some kind of way. Just like if you were to go to any job and say, you know what? I'm just here to collect my check. 
guess what they're going to try and do? Anybody that's working a nine to five right now, no, they cannot go into their job and say that because it's going to be problems. OK, they're, they're, you're going to. And if you don't know that, oh, better believe they're looking for a way to get rid of you. All right. So you better pay attention. You better stay on point going forward, too, if you already said something like that, because they're going to try and get rid of you. OK, but. The next thing that I want to help you with. LeBron, listen, is if you want to end this on a good note to where you'll be talked about neck and neck, who's the GOAT all the time? Because, I mean, realistically right now, if your resume in, it's over. Like, there's, it's a guarantee that Mike is going to win. And I'm a fan, even though I'm a fan of Mike, I'm a fan of progression. OK, I want to see people reach their highest potential. That's just I'm excited. I'm more excited about that than anything. So what you could do for this generation, you'll have to play a little differently. You'll have to play a little differently, but I'm going to go over that in the next video. So make sure y'all look out for that. Always remember that mindset matters more than anything else what your mind is set on will dictate your future focus on potential because that is what you are anytime